Australia faces a chilling reality. Domestic violence is a national crisis. In homes across the country, behind closed doors, a silent epidemic rages. The statistics are horrifying. A woman loses her life every four days at the hands of a current or former partner. 2024 has been particularly devastating. Marked by a series of high-profile cases that have shocked the nation and ignited a firestorm of debate. This year has laid bare the brutal reality of domestic violence in Australia, forcing the nation to confront its deep-seated societal issues. The recent surge in violence, particularly following the pandemic, has pushed support services to their breaking point. Resources are stretched thin, highlighting a desperate need for increased funding and support. The Australian public is demanding action. Protests have erupted across the country, with thousands taking to the streets, demanding justice for victims and concrete action from the government. 2024 will be remembered for the brutal domestic violence cases that gripped the nation. The tragic death of Sarah Jones, a young mother of two, sent shockwaves across the country. Sarah was murdered by her estranged husband, who then took his own life. The case highlighted the terrifying reality of separation violence, where leaving a relationship can be the most dangerous time for a woman. Another harrowing case involved the brutal murder-suicide of the Thompson family in rural Victoria. John Thompson, driven by a twisted sense of ownership, killed his wife Jane and their two young children before turning the gun on himself. The tragedy sent ripples of grief and anger throughout the nation, igniting a debate about the warning signs of domestic violence and the need for greater community awareness. These are not isolated incidents. Sadly, they are indicative of a much larger problem. Every week, newspapers across Australia report on similar tragedies. The stories are chillingly familiar. Women trapped in abusive relationships, living in fear, desperate for a way out. Public outrage over the government's handling of the domestic violence crisis is palpable. Protests have become a regular occurrence with people from all walks of life demanding immediate action. The recent wave of protests sparked by the deaths of Sarah Jones and the Thompson family saw thousands marching through city streets across the country. Protesters are demanding more funding for support services, tougher penalties for perpetrators, and a national strategy to address the root causes of violence against women. The message is clear, enough is enough. The Australian public is no longer willing to tolerate inaction. They are demanding real change. The government's response has been met with a mixture of hope and skepticism. While Prime Minister Albanese has publicly acknowledged the crisis and pledged additional funding, many believe that much more needs to be done. There is a sense that previous promises have gone unfulfilled and that the government's actions have not matched their rhetoric. The public's patience is wearing thin. They are demanding to see real change and they are demanding it now. Section four, the government's response, promises and plans. The Australian government has pledged $1 billion over the next five years to combat domestic violence. The funding is for support services, emergency accommodation and legal assistance. Prime Minister Albanese has vowed to make domestic violence a key priority. He announced a national summit on domestic violence to develop a coordinated strategy. Section 5, Operation Storm and Beyond, Cracking Down on Perpetrators. Operation Storm, a recent police operation in South Australia, offered a glimpse into law enforcement's efforts to combat domestic violence. The operation, which targeted known offenders, resulted in a significant number of arrests and charges related to domestic violence offences. Operation Storm involved proactive measures such as home visits and intervention orders, sending a strong message that domestic violence will not be tolerated. The operation's success highlighted the importance of targeted interventions and collaboration between law enforcement and support services. While operations like Operation Storm are crucial for responding to immediate threats, they represent only one piece of the puzzle. Addressing the root causes of domestic violence requires a multifaceted approach that extends far beyond law enforcement. Section 6, Prevention, the long road to breaking the cycle. Breaking the cycle of domestic violence requires a fundamental shift in societal attitudes. 
We need to challenge ingrained gender inequality and cultural norms that condone violence. Education is paramount. Teach children about respectful relationships and gender equality. Schools, families and communities must foster a culture of respect. Early intervention programs are crucial. Identify and address warning signs early to provide support. The road ahead is long, but we must not be daunted by the challenge. Ending domestic violence demands a sustained, collective effort.